originally founded in 1977, current membership of approximately 1,000 players, successful both locally and nationally, and not to mention being situated in an amazing part of the world. We are in Galway, home to Salt Hill Devons Football Club, and we're going to check out why it is now the envy of many. First and foremost, congratulations, this place is wonderful. Yeah, we're really proud. Um, we've developed a state-of-the-art facility here. I think it could probably be safe to say the pride of any club in Ireland, if not in Europe. We've developed four sand-based grass pitches, nine all-weather pitches right behind me, which are used commercially Monday to Friday from 7 to 70 in age profile, um, male and female, you know, elite athletes to kind of Sunday legends. So we, we, we try and cater for everyone. We've over a thousand members at this stage and I think it's pretty important I suppose for our viewers to recognise that while it is wonderful to be here today in this space, it wasn't always like this. It took a fair degree of vision and hard work to get to where we are today. Each year the club provides a number of third level scholarships for educational development and undertakes several foreign tours with juvenile teams. The club ethos of developing players at youth level and building lasting friendships through sports participation see the development of positive role models within the community. The club is slowly making a name for itself as a serious contender for many more titles in both the men's and ladies divisions. Congratulations, it was a huge success last year. Yeah, thanks very much. It was a, it was a very good achievement for the club and I suppose for Galway in particular to compete in a national competition and inevitably to go on and win it. We were delighted with it. We went in really as underdogs, not knowing what we were expecting to do, but as it transpired, we were well able to compete and in the end then we were lucky enough that we got the, the victory and had the silverware to show at the end of it. You captained the under-21 yeah. side. Talk to me a little bit about that. Well, that was one. It was a moment I'll never forget. Um, it was brilliant to win the first national title for the club. Um, it's hard to put it into words really, but it was just terrific to captain the side. Like Some brilliant players there, like Mikey Gilmore and a few of the lads. It's just brilliant, brilliant to be captain, brilliant to be part of something like that. Mikey Gilmore, I hear you're somebody to look out for in the future. Uh, yeah, I had success in under 21 actually this season. Uh, I did very well for myself and progressed really, uh, really well. Um, me and Vinnie Ferretti did well up front as a duo, as they call us in the papers, and made the paper every, nearly every week. Congratulations, I hear you're just back from Ipswich after two weeks. Talk to me about that. Um, well, I spent a week over on trial about, about a month ago, um, played against Millwall, um, scored two goals, done well enough, trained with the first team. So what sort of a training regime do these guys go through here? We'd start off, we'd have six or seven weeks of a pre-season, uh, we'd get the guys in three or four times a week, uh, they do supplementary weight programmes then themselves on top of that. When the season regular starts then you'd have usually just two nights a week training, Tuesday night and Thursday night for an hour and a half or two hours. This is a great uh, set setup here. Yeah. How does it compare to the likes of England? Well, it's as good as most clubs. Ipswich would be would be one of the better clubs with academy-wise, but like the pitches are and the facilities here are terrific. Like the all weathers and there's four top class with grass fields here. So it's, it's just as good. Just they have mo more people playing, so they maybe have quantity-wise bigger bigger setup, but no better.